Checking a roof for damage is often a job we can tackle ourselves. However, we always recommend calling an expert for technical repairs. Telltale signs of roof damage. Most roof damage is due to a flaw in a particular material like individual tiles. Keep an eye out for cracked tiles, lifting lead and unsecure materials. Other areas to look for are buckling or curling roof shingles, lead flashing and moss buildup. Subtle signs to look out for are rips in the waterproofing or blistering, which occurs when the air becomes trapped between the felt layers. Should this blister occur on a joint, then water can pass through the roof. Checking for roof damage inside the property. In many circumstances, the signs of roof damage are most obvious inside. A musty smell in your attic or damp timber work are both telltale signs. If you're concerned that you may have a leak or want a little reassurance, carefully inspect your attic with a torch or replicate rainfall using a hose pipe. Gently run the hose at a point above where you suspect the leak is coming from. Ideally with a second person inside your loft ready to spot water coming through. If you can see mould or black patches, then it's likely any leaks may be quite extensive. It could mean your drainage system is damaged or the gutter system is clogged. It's expected that flat roofs may experience pooling water, especially during rainy seasons, but this water usually evaporates or drains off within a day or two. If your drainage system is damaged or the gutter system is clogged, it will prevent water from running off the roof efficiently. If standing water is left too long on the roof, it will result in leaks and overall roof damage to the membrane. An inspection should be carried out twice a year at least, preferably in March and October, checking a range of criteria such as outlets, gutters and downpipes, and cleaning out any debris. Make sure there's adequate draining and check flashings. And remember, always call a professional for technical repairs.